Good morning, everybody. It's Aaron. Thought I'd do a few follow up videos on Edmodo just to show you the three most powerful collaborative tools available. Of course, the first and most highly used collaborative tool in the Edmodo universe would be the groups tool, and that is the tool right here. This is the one that um, I know everyone is most familiar with. Groups, uh, for the most part, for all teachers, is your classes. Um, you create your groups for your individual classes, you know, AP Science, um, you know, Calculus, Math 2, Math 2 Advanced, etc. So this gives you an idea of that. The collaborative part is where the student-to-student -student collaboration comes into effect and the student-teacher collaboration. Uh, this can also be used uh, how uh, training covered it where you can actually use groups for teacher-to-teacher -teacher collaboration. Where groups are covered and created for you know groups for 9 to 12 teachers on the high school level. Um, groups can be created for subject areas such as math, science, social studies, and English. And that way the teachers in these particular departments can collaborate in their own ways. And you would have your own private forms to do that. Once you create these groups, obviously, just to give you an example, um, all I have to do to close this group out is lock it. Once I lock it, doesn't matter if you have the group code or not, you cannot join after that point. Okay? It just gives you a good good idea to understand that once those groups are locked, you have that privacy um, for that collaboration that needs to go on. That way when we have our SACs and GAPS review, uh, we can use these for such terms as those. Uh, a little more open-ended collaboration uh, will be the Discover tab right here um, or link so to speak if you click on this really it's going to be tailored towards what you've chosen to follow uh, it's a little not too complicated but see the suggest suggested topics these are based on um, my preferences and communities and the people that I've connected with uh, obviously they using they're using social dynamic tools just like Facebook to uh, tailor the suggested topics to what they think I would be more interested in but they have trending topics as well okay and of course this would be the more you know the more popular items that people on Edmodo are looking for right now and the, obviously the top right now is math US history and modern world okay so using this really it's just like a a, a a feed a live feed that would allow you to uh, click on these links and it would show you particular um, websites that you could actually link into your own discussions assignments quizzes etc uh, it's just a you know a discovery for resources um, and possible connections as well so uh, it's a pretty cool little feature uh, finally there's communities okay and uh, this is the more common uh, collaborative tool it's the most easily and readily available you don't have to wait for people to give you a code to join their group uh, you don't have to search uh, you know peck and click on links to find or not find relevant information when you go to communities you go to browse and you have uh, subject matter broken down for you right see this this is by subject matter per school you know basically it breaks it down from here and then you can go down in here and uh, these uh, particular um, social items are going to either be apps in the app store or uh, websites connected to Edmodo in some way shape or form there's a lot of stuff out there but these are all helpful and they will definitely help you in the collaborative aspect of Edmodo because by going to these websites 
um, you're going to be able to link them into your library and once you do that you'll obviously have them especially if you end up finding like something like Worldwide Center for Mathematics um, they're gonna have information in here see flip classroom right here BAM got some good info right here you can follow this link uh, I always tend to um, you know um, click on the thing here and from here I usually go and copy video URL right if I wanted to just directly steal this for my own you know even if I didn't want to follow the community but I'm gonna go ahead and follow them. why not right but I can go to my own my own group here technology resources do a note cool math video I just found right and I can go to link just link it right here all right and that's all it is and then bam uh, once I've submitted this to uh, my class or my group for that matter uh, it's on there okay so um, that's all it is and the cool part is is of course once you go to your library go to attach to post and it's going to show you the links I have Gotta gotta love Google Chrome sometimes. I really want to show this, so sorry about the added seconds here, but uh, I'm gonna go to the library here, okay, and attach to posts. See, and there it is, right there, okay. So you've got a lot of um, cool little features here uh, that are available to you and again this all has to do with real simply put collaborative tools between discover groups and communities hope this helps thanks